we got into designing wraps um, pretty much by accident. Uh, we were looking for some way to change the graphics on our snowmobiles and we really couldn't find anything out there that fit the bill for us. My first uh, stab at trying to buy one didn't turn out the way I would have liked it. And so that's when it kind of hit me that, um, you know, how, how do I do this? How do I make this graphics kit? Uh, where do I start? The first go around uh, was pretty successful. Um, when I started doing this, there was no standard out there. There was nobody doing sled wraps that I could find. Hence the reason why I went out and tried to do it myself. Um, you know, people from an online community called Hardcore Sledder were contacting me because of things they had saw that I had done on my own sled and, and a couple local guys and were inquiring about, you know, what I could do with their sled. So that kind of turned the light on that there was a, it wasn't just me out there looking to do stuff like this. There was a, there was a lot of other people looking to do it and if I maybe, put it out there a little bit more and uh, was able to do a little work for, for more people online, then it may, uh, it may snowball and uh, turn into something. Uh, a local guy had wanted, saw what we were selling online, or at least I was trying to sell online, and he wanted a reproduction of an Articat kit on a Firecat. And so I, right there I took it on and I thought, well, if I'm gonna turn this into something, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it. So, um, you know, I installed it myself. I was able to, to trim it out and figure out how the mistakes I had made with the template that I created and uh, was able to fine tune that a little bit. Um, fortunately, there were a lot of fire cats around and that was the main thing I was doing because I wanted to do stuff of my own. So really this, this whole thing started out as a, a hobby basically for gas money to go snowmobiling. Um, that's what I had initially started it for, um, trying to sell those initial kits online. But um, it really turned into this perfect storm when around 2007, 2008, uh, we got introduced to Chris Barant. I mean, he had just started BBA. It was literally that year. And uh, there weren't a lot of people jumping on board with him. It's again, a, a thing he was paving new ground on that had never been tried before. So. It, it really, both of us in the same mindset, it, it really set it off that we were kind of headed in the same direction together. So, um, you know, that was one of the best decisions we made. Both of us, you know, who doesn't know Chris Baran at this point, right? And so, um, sponsoring riders like that, we, you know, providing them with a product that's durable and stands up to the, the rigors they really put them through because uh, they really beat these things up. It was a great pairing. Um, it really proved and helped us improve our product a lot. Um, having him as, as our main focus rider, um, being able to really thrash these things and, and put it through the ringer. So snowmobiles really fit well for Arctic Effects because uh, when we started, we were actually in my basement. and. Um, couldn't fit a lot into your basement, so I was dealing with things coming into the garage once in a while in order to make templates for new models and things like that. Once Arctic Effects moved into the new facility here in Romeo, Michigan, uh, really expanded our offering a lot because we were able to fit large format equipment um, into our lineup and be able to do things like uh, car wraps and trailers and things like that. Um, it allowed us to bring bigger equipment into the shop here than we could fit into my garage, such as razors uh, and things like that, boats, that sort of thing. And um, we're really able to do a lot more and offer a lot more to people. So we've grown a lot over the past 10 years and uh, a lot of that growth has to do with the people that we hired and hiring the right people. And, uh, you know, marketing has been a huge asset to us. It, you know, for years we were just flying by the seat of our pants and, uh, Hiring a marketing manager has really improved our game. When I first started, we were working out of Jordan's basement. It was just two of us designers and Jordan in the back. And, you know, we were pumping out as many jobs as we possibly could. And, and it's been really awesome to see the growth of the company since then. You know, when we put out Sled Wrapper, it really revolutionized the Sled Wrap industry. And I think that is what really took us, you know, from working in a basement with two designers to where we are today, which is a you know, 5,000 square foot facility. You know, and I, as I worked here over the years, um, I you know, started to realize that Arctic Effects had the top guys in the industry. They had the Chris Barantz, they had the Dan Adams, 
they had all these top guys and I from a marketing perspective I realized that you know the most important part is getting the right athletes with our products you know we know what our product can do but these guys are out there every day proving it in the toughest conditions possible you know as a customer uh, you can expect Arctic Effects to put out the very best product on the market um, we're not about cutting any corners to save a buck. Um, we know if we put something out there, it's going to be the best it can be. You know, there's, there's never a day where I wake up in the morning and I don't want to come to work. It is, it's such a cool thing to be able to work um, in the sled industry and with just awesome people all day. You know, Arctic Effects really wouldn't be possible without the awesome team we have here. I mean, we got Cheryl up front who is kind of that first point of contact, taking calls from customers and orders over the phone and, you know, works through the design room where you got six designers in here, you know, working every day, just pumping out wraps like crazy. And then you got the guys back there weeding them and printing them and shipping them. You know, it's, it's a well-oiled machine here at Arctic Effects and um, we couldn't do it without these guys. Jag ser det här mer som en karriär och inte ett jobb. Och det är tack vare Jordan och de andra grabbarna här på Arctic Effects som har gjort kulturen här på det här företaget på det viset. So as a graphic designer, I do more than what a regular graphic designer maybe would do. You have more of a one-to-one -one client relationship and we get more engaged through the whole creative process. Every day when I come in at work, I feel like I get pushed creatively with the broad spectrum of work that I get to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Looking towards the future, I mean, honestly, we, you know, we roll with the punches so much around here. Um, we see an opportunity and we try it, and either it works out or it doesn't. And we've had a lot more failures than successes, to be honest with you. The failures that we've had are probably more important than the successes. Uh, everyone thinks success is a straight line from the bottom to the top when really it's, uh, it's more ups and downs in the middle than anything. And um, I try to take the approach around here and I think everybody does that there's never a bad idea, there's never a, um, a mistake. It's, uh, it's whether or not you can learn from it and, and grow from it. Um, technology, really helped us out a lot of keeping an eye on it I guess and trying to you know cherry pick things that might help us out a little bit um, our first website was pretty low tech um, it just had static items for sale we showed the wrap kind of laid out flat where you could just grab the red one or the blue one or the green one and, and buy it um, since then uh, the technology you know coding in general and bandwidth of the internet has really kind of birthed Sled Wrapper, right? Um, Sled Wrapper is our uh, own unique online designer where you can actually, in real time, change the colors of any wrap you want. We currently have 51 colors online, uh, typically about four or five layers so that each one of those layers has 51 colors. Uh, I think we came up with about three and a half million unique colorways you can make for one kit. And that's kind of changed the game out there. To allow people, customers, to go to ArcticFXGraphics.com and pick a design they like and change it and make it their own. It's really changed things uh, for the rap world. You know, with as much success as we've had being an industry leader in the rap business, it's always fun to look back, you know. Um, back to 2004 when we started and, and what started it all. And, um, you know, there's still the same, same buddies are still around now that were there back then when we kicked around these ideas over some beers and, you know, wrote it down on a bar napkin. And uh, it, it just really turned into something that I love. and. Um, every step along the way helped me get here. It's been hard work. It's been a lot of hard work. It's been a lot of long nights. Um, still is from time to time. Starting this company was, like I said, sort of by accident, but it just changed my life completely. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, being able to do this type of job for a living and um, 
guess I'd call it a career now after all these years, but uh, it's, it's helped me grow as a person. Um, it's helped me help people who needed it as well. Um, looking back, I wouldn't change a thing. Um, I guess, uh, for lack of a better word, I'm just, uh, I'm happy to be here.